If you're live streaming on TikTok, I have a hack for you that might just change the game while you're live streaming on the platform. Now we know as we're live streaming on social media, we have to pay attention to what's going on around us because the environment is going to shift and change and how we receive and interact with those live streams is going to be different day to day, week to week, month to month. And what works last week might not be working this week. Now this is not a complete and utter change. You're fine doing the content that you're creating, but we do have a little bit of a tip that can level up and make sure that you're retaining that audience and getting them to tune in a little bit easier as you're doing your live stream. So whatever genre, whatever industry you are in and whatever type of live stream you're doing, you want to make sure that people are aware of what you're doing because when they show up to your show, remember they're scrolling through their feeds. They're going to be seeing lots and lots of videos and then they're going to come across a live stream. Now, if this live stream does not immediately get their attention, they're not going to stay because they have the option of watching short form content simply by swiping on the screen. So you you need to be very, very engaging. And we talk about this all the time at Livestream Action Plan, so you already know the drill with that. If not, check out the videos, I'll link the playlist below. But you need to make sure that they know why they should stick around. So if you're doing things that have a topic or a theme, or if you're doing an open Q&A, you can be letting them know what they're doing, not just with what you're saying, but visually on screen. So if you're sitting and talking direct to camera, or if you're doing something and then you're going to be speaking to camera as well and answering those questions or talking about a topic, you gotta let them know. And so what we've seen people start to do is actually put signs up on their screens. This can be something that you're going to put up behind you. This can be something you're gonna be putting in front of you, but it has a list of potential topics that they can talk about. And this is really helpful for those open Q and A's because as people are scrolling through, they're not gonna know who you are. So people don't know I'm a social media marketing strategist. They don't know I'm a multi-time bestselling author. They don't know I understand videography and photography and influencing and all of these things. So if I put a list there and they see a word that stands out to them, they're gonna pause for a second to see what's going on. So recently this week, I started trying this out in my live streams as well, and it worked really well for getting people's attention. I created a list, and what I did was actually print it out on my computer, just on a piece of paper, and then I used a magnet to attach it to a whiteboard that I had on an easel behind me. And I put it just over my shoulder so that people could see the topics that we were talking about, but I learned a little something. Right now, TikTok is kind of changing things internally with their live streams and with their platform, and so we seem to be missing some features. I did not have the ability to mirror my screen screen so that they could actually read the words properly. It was a royal pain and now I know when I'm printing out my signs, I need to invert my words so that they'll show up correctly on screen without me having to mirror that screen. Now, keep in mind, you can be doing this by writing it on a whiteboard or a chalkboard. You can be handwriting something and putting it behind you, but it has to be big enough for people to see it. So if it's going to go behind you, you got to make sure that it's there somewhere. Now, the alternative to that is to use the green screen feature, but you cannot change the background then. You have to set it up before you go live, and I've got videos on this, and you can check them out here on the channel. And you can have that list printed there, but then it cuts you out all pixelated, and you're there, and that's just it for the entire live stream. So most people don't want to do that. While you have the option of it, you may want to put something like a sign behind you so that people can tell what's going on. If you don't want a full sign of topics that you can talk about or things you can discuss, you can have your name and your title, or you could get a really cool neon sign to put behind you that kind of gives people the right idea. Now, another thing I've seen people do is take a tiny little index card and put it in front of them so it fills just the bottom corner or a corner of their live stream. Keep in mind, comments will be coming in, so it has to be high enough above the comments for people to be able to read it, which means you might have to do some adjustments. But that means you're going to have to write in smaller handwriting because it's now going to be in front of you blocking you. So you can decide to put your topics or your potential talking points or even the theme of the conversation you're having in a banner form behind you. You can print things out again. I just printed it on a normal sheet of computer paper in block letters and I put it behind me in different colors so people could see the differences between the different words or the different topics. Or you can put it in something small in front of you. I highly encourage you to be checking these out and to try these out during your upcoming live streams to see what works best best for you because you may want the ability to say, hey, we're doing an open Q&A, ask me questions on these topics. Or you can come in and say, we're having a conversation on these things and you can actually have those talking points on your screen. Now, another way you can do this is to physically write it out on something like a whiteboard as you are doing your live stream. So let's say you're having a mini masterclass and you're giving different points on a specific topic. You can write out the title and then you can write out your first point as you discuss it. And then you can turn and write out your second point as you discuss it. So there's lots of different ways to implement this into your strategy for live streaming, but it comes down to people visually 
and immediately being able to see and tell and understand what you're going to be speaking about and what potential topics you can talk on if it's an open Q&A. This way, they're going to be able to resonate with it and stick around a little bit longer to see if it's gonna be a good fit for them rather than just seeing your face and guessing. Now, please keep in mind, they do allow you to do an introduction on TikTok, and we have videos on this as well, where you can pop in an introduction that pops up for them as they're scrolling, but most people don't look at the comment section. So it does pop up like a normal comment and says, ask me questions about, or I'm a, this type of person and we can talk about, or this is the talking point for today's discussion. But again, most people don't look at the comments. So now is the time to really be innovative with this. And if you've got ideas for how you can display your talking points or your topics, let us know down below. I'm definitely gonna be continuing to try out signs behind me. I'm gonna try signs in front of me as well, but I do think for me and for most people, it's gonna be better if you have it behind it so it's not blocking anything and it looks like part of your scene as well. You wanna get really creative with how you're displaying this. So I used a magnetic whiteboard, a dry erase board with a piece of paper magnetically stuck to it. I could have written on it. I set it up on an easel. I mean, it part of my background, but you can do it however you want. You can even hold it up and be writing on it as you go. Let me know what you're going to try down in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell for more tips and tricks on how to level up on your live streaming on any of the social platforms, but also how you post your content to save time, effort, and stress so you can get back to running your business on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube, in your live streaming, and more. Stick around for more daily videos dropped for you to help you level up in all of your social presences.